Hello again, it's Glenn Walford here from FranchiseBuyer.com.au and I'm from the, I'm at the, I'm from Franchise Buyer and I'm at the Melbourne Franchising and Business Opportunities Expo and I'm sitting here with Tanya Canaris who is the Franchise Development Manager from The Coffee Club. Tanya, how are you going? Good, thanks Glenn. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. That's thank good. you for joining us. No problem, it's good to be here. Yeah, great. And um, it's a big Saturday morning here and there's lots of people around so I've pulled you away from your stand and your very busy stand. Not a problem. Um, uh, to talk about The Coffee Club. So yes. The Coffee Club's been around for a while. Maybe yeah. just tell us a little bit about The Coffee Club before we find out what you're up to today. Yeah, The Coffee Club started in 1989 in Brisbane. Mm -hmm. um, it was um, started by three Greek gentlemen who... Um, a new coffee. Who knew coffee mm -hmm. and knew that we didn't have an offering in Brisbane to buy coffee, particularly yep. um, late at night. Yes. And um, the story goes, they um, were walking around Brisbane CBD and looking for a coffee, couldn't find one, so decided that they would make their own coffee shop. At that moment. At that moment. <laughs> so that's where it all started. Yeah, wow, okay. And then the um, they worked quite hard for about two years to try and get the brand right and mm -hmm. then eventually franchise the first store, which is still there today at Eagle Street Pier in yep, Brisbane I know that, C I know CBD. Spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, okay. Um, and from there, they've just grown mm. um, exponentially since then. So how, we've got how many is it? Three hundred plus. Sites this year we'll hit three hundred and eight stores. Wow. Um, and just under three hundred franchisees. Okay. So obviously we've got multi-site. Yep. And you've been going for, for you know, twenty plus years, basically. Twenty-five years this year. Okay. Great yeah. anniversary. Hey, um, um, sorry, I just got distracted there by. Uh, thank you. Um, <laughs> sorry about that. Um, okay, so the we talked earlier along about um, about the evolution of the brand and the business overall. Yep. So, so what what are you up to? I mean, a brand obviously goes through phases, especially in your twenty five years. Yep. So, what, what's happening at the coffee club right now? We are going through another um, phase. I think it's probably phase three, mm -hmm. um, which is really exciting because if you um, look look retrospectively at where the brand has come from, you'll see the evolution and the pattern in that process. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, to be part, to be at the coffee club working and in the role that I am while this is going on is really quite exciting. Mm. So we're going to, in the next couple of years, we're going to be changing our logo slightly, um, becoming a little bit more trendy, a little mm. bit more... Um, a bit more boutique or something? Yeah, or sort a little, of, yeah. Well, you know, as boutique as a franchise, a national yeah, franchise. And it's a challenge. It's a balance, and it, balance in brand consistency and everything, isn't yeah, it, of course. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, we keep um, pushing the boundaries with our menu offerings mm -hmm. um, so that they're, they can compete with the boutique mm. um, independent cafes. Yes. Um, we're looking at how we can do things a lot better all the time. Yeah, um, yeah. I actually think we are taking um, quite an introspective approach to, to the business mm. in both the dining experience as well as the franchising business experience yeah, as well. Yeah. So, so um, you're going to do some branding changes and everything. You're doing fit out changes? Is that the type of thing you're doing in the, the look and style of the business? Is, is that underway now or is that further down the track? Absolutely. The new fit outs that we're rolling out are very modern, mm. very sleek yep. um, compared to the ones that we have had um, in mm. the past. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, we roll with the times. Yeah, yeah. We have, we're pushed into that new modern sleek look by our competitors yep, and we need to respond. And you know, otherwise we'll get left behind. At times you lead the way and they lead the way. It's, it's, it's the way it is, That's isn't right. It? Yeah. And, you know, ultimately we want to lead the way the entire yeah, yeah. time. But, yeah. you know, reality probably won't yeah. have that. And, and it's always a challenge, isn't it, at the franchise yeah. level with franchisees who've invested money into the actual business they've got and then re revitalising it and redoing it and refreshing it all the time. Yeah, so. But I think that's a good selling point for us because Absolutely. if you're going to invest um, the money that um, is required for our franchise model, you want to know that we mm. are proactive in yeah. um, keeping up with the times. Yeah. Otherwise you're just buying something that's... Only got a short shelf life. Yeah, and I know you've got you have an enormous brand awareness out there, don't you, from a yep. consumer level in the marketplace. Yep, absolutely. And yeah. that's that's why we're here at this expo. It's to yeah. try and you know remind people that um, we're here to, we're here to stay Actually, and we're here to stay and you're here to grow. Exactly. Okay, great. Yeah. Tanya Canaris from the Coffee Club. Thanks very much for joining us. Thank you so Thank much. You. Pleasure. Uh, it's Glenn Walford again from FranchiseBuy.com.au, and we'll catch you again soon.